Welcome back. In this video tutorial, we are going to create this insights button together. When this button is clicked, it's going to activate this GPT-4 vision preview model, which is going to read the image of the line graph and share some insights on the data analysis and on what it's seeing inside this graph. And it's pretty accurate, especially with pie charts and bar charts and other graphs. Here he talks to us about growth over time, talks about the language dominance, as you can see here, how it goes up. And also it talks about the sharp increase in uh, the number of language AI systems starting around 2015. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do this with a simplified version, just a fake uh, drop down, just a static graph that's not going to change because I want to focus on the insights button and the model that allows that allows you to do this. Right. If you want the full file, I have it in uh, which is will generate this app for you. Uh, this is based on the last video that we did last week where we built the by chart and the line charts together. If you want this full example and an explanation on how to do this, just join the Charming Data community. It's completely free, completely open. Um, go to the Langchain Education, part of the premium learning, which is also still free and go to GPT-4 vision to text model. Here you'll have some explanations on how to do this and the full code uh, that you can copy to regenerate this app for you. All right, so now we're going to focus on, on this app, right? And the insights button. Go to this link under the video, Langchain, Graph Insights, and App Demo. And in here, just download the, uh, the app or just copy the whole code and paste it into your Jupyter, PyCharm, or VS Code. doesn't really matter. Now, try to follow along with me before you set this up, install everything and set this up and run it, because it does require some installation of Dash, Dash Bootstrap, Plotly, Pandas, Langchain, and, and Kaleido of this, this specific version for the app to run successfully. So let's do that later. Right now, we're going to focus on uh, creating this app together. So the first thing you want to do if you want this app to work for you is to include your API key. Now, uh, you can either include your API key here on line uh, 82. I think it's uh, comma API uh, key uh, something uh, number. Don't remember the parameter. Um, but you can either include it here directly or I have my API key hidden in the .env file right here. Uh, and then I load it into my app using these to this library and these two lines of code on 14 and 15. So my API key is already working and it's inside here. It's a GPT-4 key. And now I can use the app. So here I just have my data frame. Um, I'm actually going to change this to data that com comes from the GitHub URL. So it's easier for you to access this after the video. Um, I'm only going to include these two fields for the demo purposes, only these two uh, multi-model and language graph line charts. And then we have our layout, our, 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 our title, our graph, our dropdown, our button. And right here, this empty div is where we're going to include under the button is where we're going to include the description of the model, the result. All right. This is where everything happened. This is where the magic happens from line 71 to line 108. So first of all, I'm going to take the figure that we built, right? The figure that uh, we built above, which is right here, the line chart. I'm going to take this line chart and I'm going to um, read it into the callback function as fig and I'm going to turn it into a graph object. You need to do this in order to save the image with line uh, 79, save the image into your images folder. You can call this folder whatever you want. We call it images. And now every time I click on the button, I'm going to save the image. Fig 1 for the first time we click, Fig 2 for the second time we click. In this case, it doesn't really matter because the image is always the same image, the two lines um, uh, on the line chart. So I save the image only after the button is clicked. Remember, the input of the callback is what activates the graph. And here we have end clicks of button. So this is the button and we have the end clicks property um, and we declared it as an underscore. 
So every time I go ahead and click the button, this callback is going to be activated and we will save the image into our images folder. We're gonna make it sleep for one second, just in case it's too slow. You might not need it, but I put it here just in case. And now we're gonna activate or uh, our, we're gonna build our, our model, right? We're gonna instantiate our chat open AI, which we imported here, chat open AI from Langchain open AI. You can also find more about this chat open AI in this link I'm gonna share under the video. It's a great link. It talks about uh, how to call the model, how to uh, prompt it, how to use a, a system messages and human messages to, to really prepare it for the questions that you think your users are going to be asking it. Let's go back. So we're calling this mod uh, module and the model is going to be GPT-4 vision preview. I'll put max tokens 256. I think I can go up to like 4,000 but I want to go easy on my on my API token and, and the money I spend. I want a shorter description, so I limit it. And then image path, I'm going to say this pa the path is, is right here, so it knows where to grab the file from. In this case, fig3 or fig1, it doesn't really matter because we already saved it. And now we're going to encode the image. Encode image, image path, right? Encode this image, figure one. Encode image is just a, a function that I built right here. I took off the web somewhere. Uh, you just when you encode an image, you are turning it into a thing, um, uh, a binary string, which it was what allows computers to read images. So we're encoding it, and then we're going to use this later below um, inside the model itself. So here we say we have our model, and we invoke it. When we invoke the model, we're calling it, we're activating it, and inside. Uh, we're going to use the human message, right? This is from way up here, remember, where we imported it from Langchain core messages. We're going to use a human message. We're going to say you, the human being, the user of our app, is going to ask the model this question, right? Two weeks ago, we did, or three weeks ago, we did a chatbot where the, the human, the app user, asked any question they want. But in this case, I am going to say that I'm the human, I'm going to define the question because I know that when a human clicked on insights, they want to know the insights of this graph. This is what I built the button for to understand the insights and data of this graph. So I just say here, what data insight can we get from this graph? We're going to feed it the image URL, which is right here. The detail you can put low, high, or auto. It depends on the uh, pixels. I put it auto and you can read more about it here if you want in this link. And now that I have the question, I'm invoking the chat and the result we're going to return as a string, result.content is the, is the complete string, we're going to return it into the children of this div. So this is exactly what's happening right now. Look, I'm clicking the insights button and the spinner has been activated because it's inside the DBC spinner and now it's reading the figure, it's turn it into, turning it into a graph object, saving the figure into probably fig one, because it's the first time I clicked the, the button. I'm building the model, I'm encoding the image so the model can read it, and then I'm going to ask it this question, and then I'm going to invoke the model to return a response, and the response, this full response, goes into the children of the content. This is the content, this is a div. So it's gonna go right here. Right here is where you're going to see the full response, which is right under the button. And that's when we go here, here's where we see um, the full response. Um, so it's pretty cool. I really think that this is like a very powerful tool for you to have. Uh, it can read other images as well and other graphs. Um, that's it, um, don't, don't forget to um, join the Charming Data community because uh, next week I'm going to share more about this app and another video from the projects uh, for career development. Every month we have a project. Uh, the month of February is a data visualization and AI integration of the AI data sets. Um, and check it out. Like here in the project chats, this is completely open for everybody to join. Uh, we talk a lot about uh, the the apps we're building, the large language models are integrating, 
And really, we're learning together. So it's a great opportunity for you to learn about data visualization, to learn about AI and integration of large language models into data apps as you build your career portfolio. Um, I think that's it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a lot. Uh, if you did, give it a like uh, and uh, join the subscribe to the Charming uh, Data channel. And uh, I'll see you next week. Always remember, we're better together, so help each other out. Bye-bye.